Hey, we want to tell you about Tina McQuaig. Everyone knows someone like her. She grew up here in Jacksonville. She married her high school sweetheart and together they had a son. But her life was cut short at just 27. Continuing her cold series tonight, Katie Jeffries has more. Wow, there's just so much to tell. I don't really know where to begin. Tina McQuaig's case is one of twists and turns. She left work at Shands, which is now UF Health, just before 5 in the evening on March 15, 2000, but never arrived home. Family believes she was headed towards her home in Baldwin, and they reported her missing. And four days into her disappearance, a friend spotted her car at the Walmart parking lot off Normandy. Tyler's car seat was still in the back seat. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it was her car. So I told them why I was there, and I said, I just want to know what's in the trunk of that car. Elmer Rice says he thought detectives might find his daughter's body in the trunk, but it was empty. And for two years, nine months, and 11 days, they waited, hoping against all odds they would see Tina again. Survey crew's discovery of human remains on the west side has It was the day after Christmas, 2002. I knew. I said, That's Tina. That's going to be Tina. Her father's instincts were right. It was Tina found in a wooded area near Cecil Commerce. With the pain came a frustration. Her parents were anxious to see an arrest. We asked Sergeant Dan Jansen with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Cold Case Unit about this case. I have a detective assigned to that case. However, there's a lot of factors in that case that, that really I can't speak of at this point. Tina McQuaig's cause of death is listed as homicide by violence. And there are some people of interest in, in that particular case, however, I wouldn't feel comfortable commenting as to, you know, what their involvement was. For 17 painful years, her family has waited for the day that the person that took Tina's life be brought to justice. Because somebody knows something, I know they do, and they've got to come forward. Uh, it's just it's been too long. Tina needs justice. We need an answer. There is no statute of limitations for murder, so even the smallest piece of information could crack a cold case. If you know anything, please contact the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers at 1-866-845-TIPS. Hoping for justice.